I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. In this episode, we're going to learn how you can modify keys that you pull, however you pull them, using RGB controls by connecting a key output to an RGB input and vice versa. This is a new feature in DaVinci Resolve 12, and it's really cool if you do a lot of highly specific adjustments. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a key, and in this case, I'm gonna open up the qualifier palette, jump down to the 3D qualifier, and I'm going to drag to make a few samples of skin tone. So now when I have a look at the resulting key, this is great. Now I could use the matte finesse controls to start cleaning this up. But if I want to get even more specific, there's another thing that I can do. If I create another node, I'm gonna move this over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just right click in the node editor to create an unconnected corrector node. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the key output of node two, where I'm pulling this key, to the RGB input of node four. And then I'm gonna connect the RGB output back to the key input of node three. So what I'm doing is I'm intercepting this key and I'm connecting it to the RGB controls of node four. And at this point, I can use any of the controls that I have available to me, in particular the curves, to modify the monochrome key image all by itself. So if I wanna use these curves to just flatten out those frizzy bits, I can. If I wanna use gamma, I can. Heck, if I wanna go in and use the noise reduction in the motion effects palette, I can. And then after I'm done doing whatever it is I'm going to do here, this key is being fed back into the key input of node three. So in node three, I now have the sum result of my modification from node four, and node three is ultimately where I'm gonna to want to make my actual adjustment. Now, FYI, whenever you connect a key to a key input, any particular node defaults to inverting the key input. If I want to not have this happen, I can go to the key palette, and in the key palette, I can invert the key input, so I go back to getting exactly the result that I want. And now that I have this set up, I can go ahead and make whatever kind of adjustment I feel I need to, to get a little bit of that dingy ambient light out of her skin tone. This is a really powerful technique and you can use it to accomplish all kinds of things in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found that useful. I'm Alexis Van Herkman. Thanks for watching.